Today we are going to learn about section 80 DDB which is described under chapter 6A of Income Tax Act 1961. So from this video we are going to learn three points. First point what is section 80 DDB? Second point what are the conditions? And third point what is the amount of deduction which is available for the SSC? Now coming to the first point what is section DDB? This section talks about medical treatment. All the expenses are part of the expenditure which is met for this medical treatment will be allowed as deduction. What are the diseases means the diseases which are described under rule 3A of income tax rule. Then what is this rule 3A what are the examples of diseases means few of the examples are cancer, tuberculosis, AIDS. Diseases which are related to heart, blood, lump, glands, mental disorder. There are many examples are there which will which all the diseases are coming under this section. So if an SSC is taking any medical treatment and if he is incurring any expenditure, a total of the amount or part of the amount of the expenditure will be allowed as deduction. Now coming to the second point, conditions. For whom it is eligible means this deduction section is eligible for only individuals and HUF. Then the treatment can be taken by self or dependent spouse or dependent children or dependent parents or dependent brother or sister of a self. If the treatment is taken by any of these member, the deduction will be allowed. Now coming to the amount of deduction. If the person who is taking treatment is a non-senior citizen, then the actual expenditure met or the 40,000 whichever is less is allowed as deduction. And coming to senior citizen, if the person who is taking the medical treatment is a senior citizen, then actual amount met for the expenditure or 1 lakh will be whichever is less will be allowed as a deduction. These amounts will change for every year. So this is for the assessment year 2020-2021. One important point to be noted is any amount recovered from employer or insurance company for the medical treatment shall be deducted from the deduction amount. Note this point. I will explain this concept with one example. A non-senior citizen who is taking medical treatment which is described under rule 3A of income tax rule. For him, the self-expenditure is 48,000. An insurance company repaid him 7,000. They are asking what is the deduction amount which can be availed under section 80 DDB. What is the provision for non-senior citizen actual expenditure spent by the SSC or the by person or 40,000 whichever is less is allowed as deduction. What is the actual expenditure spent here? 48,000 and he is getting a repaid amount insurance company from insurance company he is getting a return of 7,000 that means 48,000 minus 7,000 he is getting an amount of 41,000 and what is the provision 40,000 whichever is less means 40,000 what is the amount allowed as deduction here? 40,000 so the amount allowed as deduction is 40,000. This is the wrong process. Why? Because I said there is an important point. What is the point C once again? Any amount recurred from employer or insurance company shall be deducted from the deduction amount, not from the actual amount. Then let's see what is the actual process. So what is the provision actual expenditure spent or 40,000 whichever is less is allowed as deduction. What is the actual expenditure spent 48,000 or 40,000 whichever is less means 40,000 is allowed as deduction. After making this provision then we have to deduct the insurance amount. What is the insurance repaid amount 7,000. So from 40,000 we have to deduct the 7,000 the remaining amount 33,000 will be called as amount which is available for deduction under section 80 ddb so remember this point is very important when you are computing deduction under section 80 ddb i think you understood what is section 80 ddb and what are the conditions and what is the amount allowed as deduction under this section thank you for watching if you like my way of explanation please like and subscribe my channel